get in a Volkswagen? Uh, no. Good morning, John. <laughs> Good morning, Fireball. Uh, blog welcomes Grafton once again. Uh, today, we're, I I'm in the passenger seat, and John's driving, and what are we driving today? We are driving the Mad Dog Lexus RCF. F4, well, I can't say that on your blog, but. Frickin' fast. Yes, that's what I was gonna say. And why are we doing this? Why are, Why do you have this car today? I'm doing it for review. Okay. And um, let's face it, this car is cool. Who it, wouldn't want to review this car? <laughs> I'm just hanging out with John today. He needs to get some driving shots, and I'm gonna drive while he shoots. Or is it the other way around? We'll figure it out. Okay. It's not just dynamic driving, it's dynamic in design. It's like the Batmobile for it is. the new generation. <laughs> John's setting up to do a photo shoot. We're uh, up at the Trancus Market. He's just gonna do a quick few shots here and then we'll kind of move south in town. Just spent the last half hour shooting this car, this Lexus. I haven't driven this car before, but it's pretty nice. Not a big fan of the interior. Exterior, it's rocking. So John, being an expert photographer, what is the, the key to good photos with a car like this? Looking through the... Looking through the lens. So basically just take pictures of the car? Actually, what you really want to do is, with a nice pan shot, is follow the car at the same speed the car is moving. You keep the car sharp and everything else looks, has a nice blur to it. Yeah, kind of like what I dreamt last night, pretty much. I wasn't there, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> Did you get everything you wanted? And more. And more, because we're professionals. <laughs> no dents in the car, not no, a scratch. No dents in this one, although we were up at the Trancus Market and some lady wanted to do a U-turn. I'm not even sure you could technically call it a U-turn. She got a half a U. She got a, yeah, half U, and before <laughs> she crashed into a BMW. It, that's not funny. Yeah, it just kind of, uh, yeah. you know, left a little a little kiss on the other car. Actually, it was more, it was more like a smooch. Yeah. It was the, a juicy one. Yeah, the insurance company will be speaking with them later. Yeah, the insurance company's gonna have some smiles on their faces, so that's Keeps good. busy. Yeah, right. and it was good. It was the best. Nicely done. Couldn't we'll do any better. We'll see you next time. Bring a cool car next time, will you? I'll try. Okay. All right. on her mermaid. It's been a long time coming. It really looks good though. She found this paint that oxidizes or it, it creates a patina as you spray it. So this is the test. She's not going to do it bronze. She found a, a, a really incredible way to give the illusion of bronze without having to spend, you know, five or six grand to actually do a bronze. Should have it done within 24 hours or so. It's going to be cool.
you know what we're driving? It says Denali <laughs> on your seat. It, it kind of gave it away. Yeah, uh, I don't know what that means. This is the GMC Acadia Denali, a GMC SUV truck. It's pretty nice. This is this week's ride, and um, we've had it for a day or so. We just haven't had a chance to vlog about it. I've been doing some other things. But right now, we're going to head up into town, and we're going to go and check and see if there's some homes, cool homes on the beach to look at. Yeah, we might buy a couple. Really? I'm in the mood. Okay, why not? They're so cheap. size bedroom. Look, it's got all kinds of windows and cool decks and stuff. This house is selling for 7.25. You want to get this one and get another one too? Yeah, well I do. I'm liking this. You like this one so far? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me see how much I have. <laughs> Kathy! She's all ready to take a bath. Ooh, that's a big closet. Where you can put all your gold bullion. That is not a big enough safe for me, though. I need a bigger safe for my money. I'll take the board. You can have the board, and I guess I have to have the back bedroom. Yeah. It's my official doghouse. I'm not digging the bedrooms back here. It's okay. Kind of like, like caves. The front bedrooms are good. The deck is spectacular. Maybe we can just buy the deck. <laughs> How about that? that? I like everything close to the deck. The rest of it I would level. We could just ignore it. <laughs> just ignore it. On a scale of one to ten, that was about that was about a four for me. Oh, I say eight. Maybe a maybe a five. Eight. Not even close. Did you see that Eight. deck? Yeah, just, well, if you wanted to move in just to the deck, then it's a 12. The living room was awesome. The, the deck was awesome. The bedroom was awesome. Yeah, yeah, we're okay. It's higher than five. Yeah. Let's go look at another one. This is your bathroom, this is your tub, 
first deck right there. Right there. Yeah, let's go. working for me. Um, Alright, the last one just jumped back up to an 8 again. <laughs> Maybe and so. this one is a 2. How much was this? My big, guess big is guess. it's 9 million. 10.9. Oh, well even if it was 2 million, I didn't like it. Yeah. At least I don't have to buy it today. I thought you had the dough. I don't want to buy it. Looking at houses is always fun because it gives you kind of a perspective on you know, how people live and the kind of houses that they live in and the kind of things that they be. Everybody's different, but it's an incredibly expensive house to some people. 10.9 million is actually cheap for somebody else. What is super cheap for somebody else is actually you know totally expensive. The thing is, we get caught with numbers. You know, none of that means anything. It only means something if you if you decide it means something. And for us, when we go look at these houses, you know, it's not our intention to to buy one of these places, and unless we find something that's truly spectacular that we can't live without. Our intention is to show you guys, is to give you guys that experience. You know, if, you, yeah, if you've never had a chance to walk through a house that was on the ocean, it's just cool. It's just something fun to do, and we do that from time to time. I kind of share that with you guys. It's our job here on the vlog to, you know, to basically, you know, this. But if it is true, if it is true that what you put your attention on actually grows. If you put your attention on doing cool things in your life, you know, creating a life full of just cool stuff, then you're just gonna get a lot of that stuff. Case in point, latest issue of Hidden Hills Magazine. Boom, just came out. This is my buddy Dave Olin's car. You know, it's got two girls in the car, but it's not him, but that's his car. You remember the vlog where Greg Gill from the Automobile Driving Museum and I, we went down to PV in that 59 Cadillac, remember that? But here it is, right in here, in this magazine. Bam, check it out. There it is. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Free ride right there. A couple cool shots of the cars from the museum. Yep, PV. Remember that? We were there. And then the latest issue of Mountain with Surfside News just came out. Huh, what can we find in here? Lo and behold, a picture of Gary Chow and I from Cafe Lux. Remember that event? That was fun. Got to drive that Packer to that one. It's just a cool time driving cool cars. All kinds of neat things to do and share those experiences with you guys. I'm very fortunate, I'm very, I'm very blessed, and I'm very lucky, as some people might say. I'm also very determined. I'm very determined to fill my life with cool stuff so that I bring as much joy into my life as possible. But as it is our job to help you guys improve your life through what you love, you gotta ask yourself, what do you love? That's the big age old question. You gotta spend mental time. You gotta spend some time up here, up in that pea brain of yours. And you gotta think, how would it feel to do that thing that I love? And then when you start you start thinking about that, then things start to start to appear. And then you start to do things like this. And the more you do of this, I'm not allowed to say this word. Actually, I can say whatever I want. It's my shell. The more you get stuff done, the more stuff gets done. And the more stuff gets done, the more you proceed and move towards that goal. And then voila, before you know it, your life is freaking awesome. Right, that's it for today's vlog. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Be sure to friend us up on Instagram. That's kind of like the go-to place nowadays. Okay, that's it. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow.